Hello and welcome to Ben Rosser's Conservatorium of Audio. I'm Ben Rosser and today we're going to be taking a look at Ozone 4 from Isotope. Quite a hand more than just a simple effects plugin, Isotope Ozone 4 allows you to adjust your sound in many different ways, whether you're sweetening up a single instrument or a drum mix, for example, or if you're mastering a whole track. It's got a lot of different features which can be quite handy for adjusting your sound. So we'll just start over on the right hand side here. You can see your input and output level meters and gain controls, as well as the button to access the different presets available in Ozone. As you can see, it's different categories of presets depending on what you're after, whether it's mastering, whether you're just looking to improve the sound of a single instrument or group of instruments, whether you're after special effects, there's many different presets available for you to work with there. Also got a bypass control to enable you to bypass and unbypass the processing from Ozone. It's good for getting a bit of a before and after perspective on exactly how you're manipulating the sound. Some of the other common controls include the graph button, as you can see, which allows us to adjust the order of the different modules and our options, which gives you many different options to adjust how Ozone looks, how it feels, and how it works with your audio. So there's six main modules which we're going to take a quick look at, starting with our paragraphic equalizer, which you can see there, our mastering reverb, loudness maximizer, multiband harmonic exciter, multiband dynamics, and finally our multiband stereo imaging. The three multiband modules work together in the sense that by adjusting the bands in one of the modules, you're also adjusting the bands in all of the other modules. The multiband system is quite handy for allowing you to, for example, just adjust what you're doing to the bass frequencies or the high frequencies. And by sliding these bars across, you can adjust the width of the different bands as well as being able to bypass or solo individual bands as you need. So we're going to get a bit of audio happening and see what sort of things Ozone 4 can do for us. We're going to have a quick look at two different tracks. The first one is a bit of an acoustic track, which I recorded not long ago, just using a selection of condenser microphones. And we're also going to have a bit of a look at an electronic track, just so that you can get a bit of a perspective on how it will affect different sort of sounds. So we'll just bypass Ozone for the moment and we'll have a listen to how this first track sounds. Three, so as you can hear, it's a fairly standard sort of track. But once we apply some of Ozone's processing to it, you'll see exactly how much we can get it to stand out and come to life for us. So we're going to start by opening up our preset window. We're going to go into our general purpose mastering. And one of my favorite ones to start off with, just tends to do a good job on pretty much anything, is our CD master with our exciter and widener. When you click on a preset, you'll also get a couple of extra controls that you can adjust there. As you can see, we can adjust the loudness and as well as the shine and depth. And then we'll click OK. And as we can see, the five modules that we're now using are all lit up to let us know that they're active. So a bit of high frequency boost with the EQ, a bit of loudness maximization, a bit of harmonic exciter, as you can see, making use of the multiband system with a bit more exciter on band 3 and band 2 than there is on the first band. Some multi-band dynamics. So each band allows you to have limiting, compression and expansion. So get a lot of control over how the dynamics are reacting within each separate band. As well as being able to show the attack and release controls for each of those separate components of each band. 
And finally, we've got our stereo imaging. As we can see, we've got a bit of widening happening on the second band and a tiny bit on the third band. Shooting three bands at the moment. You can insert an extra band or remove a band, adjust your crossover or spectrum options, as you can see, just by right-clicking anywhere on the multi-band display up the top. And again, we'll just play that track bypassed, and then we'll unbypass it so that you can hear the sort of difference that Ozone is having. So that's without the processing, and then if we apply ozone to it by turning the bypass off, you can see it's giving us a much louder, much deeper, more spacious and more alive sort of sound than we had previously. We might also just quickly adjust this one, go into our paragraphic EQ, just give it a bit of a push up around the 5k mark you might also pull a little bit out it's a little bit of adjustment there just to get the tone where we want it go into our harmonic exciter we might actually just turn it up a little more and bring the bass down slightly and finally we'll go into our stereo imaging and we'll just widen up that upper band just to get a bit more width happening. Again we'll just bypass it so you can hear the original. Three, and with ozone applied the funny thing with ozone is Getting it to improve a sound is almost that simple that it feels like cheating sometimes. It's amazing the sort of life and depth and space, all of those lovely engineering words that it can tend to add to a sound. So what we're going to do, we'll just bypass that one again, and we're just going to go to our electronic track so that you can have a bit of a listen to how it'll affect that sort of sound. Just turn that one down a little bit to give us a bit of headroom before it goes into ozone. And even just using the same preset we were using before, if we unbypass that one, as you can see, just instantly improves the sound for us. So we might choose a bit of a different preset and see what else we can get happening with this electronic sound. Go into our genre specific mastering. We might go for electro and dance rock master with EQ and exciter boost. And just click OK on that one. Load up the preset. Again we'll just bypass it to hear the original. And just unbypass that one. With it bypassed again and unbypassed. As you can see, makes an absolutely huge difference to the sound. So feel free to experiment, check out all the different controls, and keep an eye out for our more in depth Ozone 4 tutorial in the near future. So I hope to see you again in another Ben Ross's Conservatorium of Audio tutorial. Thanks for watching.